is given, and who does it, is of great interest to us all. To some of us, the National Youth Administration stands out as the agency which is doing the best job along these lines at present. Therefore, I congratulate Mr. Aubrey Williams on having inaugurated this training, and I congratulate the young people at having this administration with which to work. of 
radio receivers and transmitters and other communications equipment. Radio work has been done for the Army and Navy as well as for other war agencies. Other young women are gaining experience of operators of radio equipment and are ready to take places of responsibility in the maintenance of essential communications, particularly during emergency periods. Some NYA girls are repairing Army telephones and other communications equipment. These young women are employed by the National Youth Administration in New Haven, Connecticut, doing welding and sheet metal work in the construction of a lift body, a piece of emergency apparatus for local fire departments. This is an excellent example of the combination of useful production under industrial methods and the training of youth for war production, which characterizes all NYA work. In a period where every machine must count, the NYA is making its equipment serve two purposes, the training of young people for war industries and the production of goods, which also serve the nation's needs. In this instance, as in many others, youth are gaining valuable training, and the community is better prepared for emergencies. The passing of skills from father to son is well known in our American culture, but here is a case where a brother shows sister how it is done. Included in the production of NYA machine shops are many orders for small nuisance parts, boats and spoons for the armed forces. Thus, NYA youth are already playing their part in war production by being trained for jobs in war industries. Inspection is a job for women's fingers. Carefulness checking at this stage is essential to the smooth functioning of the completed mechanism. Employers find young women especially capable in this type of work. Just as these parts, shaped and worked from rough material, are now ready for use, NYA girls trained in productive work are at the nation's 